where's the game, Reese? Where's the game? And you're like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's not working. I don't know what's going on. What's good, people? Welcome to another episode of Concept Reese. Okay, so yesterday we had day one of the Undisputed Beta. And I wanted to talk a little bit about some of the issues we were having in regards to matchmaking. And just give my thoughts on it and where I'm at when it comes to some of the issues that we were seeing. Just trying to get a game. It's a hard one. I don't even know where to start, really. Um, I think it's important to begin with to note that this is a beta. And with betas, there's issues. You can, you just never know what type of issues you're going to get. But you know that with a beta, you are going to get some issues. They actually gave us a list of all the issues we might face when playing the game. But with that said, I see the frustrations of you guys. The guys that had a cold and had the opportunity to play this game. You've waited. You've been amped up. You've spent all day waiting to play this game. And the time comes and you just sat there in <laughs> this this black screen with no music with his little searching logo just spinning and spinning and spinning and when i check on the discords and twitter and stuff i can see where people are frustrated and don't get me wrong right i'm one of the fortunate ones right i I'm, i was kind of lucky i probably played 2.5 games <laughs> if you want to call it that so i had two full matches and then i had a few like games but then the internet would drop off so I was kind of lucky, but not really at the same time. But nobody was safe from that searching screen. Nobody. It was, and he felt like he was there for ages. And as a content creator, someone who, I had at one point a hundred and something viewers on the stream just waiting to play this game. Yeah, man, you've got to entertain them. And they're like, where's the game, Reese? Where's the game? And you're like, I don't know. <laughs> it's not working. I don't know what's going on. Luckily for me, I decided to stream later on. After I played one game, I got one good game in and I played one or two of us and they lagged. And I thought, you know what? I'm just going to go live and talk to some of the people that are fans of the channel. Yeah, and we'll see what happens. And I, I was quite lucky. I was one of I was one of the lucky ones where we got to play a game live and people watched it, which was really cool. Really cool. I enjoyed it. And stuff like that is the reason why i have this channel where i'm interacting with you guys we're both playing i'm playing a boxing game you you guys are watching we're talking about the round we're talking about what i could do better we're talking about how i'm absolutely destroying this person all that stuff was was the reason why I created this channel. This is what I wanted. And for the bits of the game that we managed to play, we had that experience and it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. The amount of people on the stream that were saying, man, we're having a good time. It was great. When the game was allowing you to play, it was a great time. But on the other side, and I don't mean to be sitting on the fence with this people, but throughout the day, they were just putting updates in straight away, immediately. They were going, okay, it's not working. Here's an update. And as soon as I got an update, it worked a little bit. Then they put another update out. It worked even better. And then around the end, I was just getting matches. Like, yes, they were lagging and yes, there were you know, connection issues, but it was improving throughout the day. And that's what a beta is for. For them, for the guys at Steel City Interactive, this is a good thing because they can stress test the online infrastructure that they have. For us guys, I guess the beta testers, we're experienced what, it, what it's like to be beta testers. Things break. It's just the way it is. It's just the way it is. What I am going to do is I'm going to go on their Twitter. Because they made a few updates as I was playing the game. Uh, they pinned a tweet 12 hours ago. And it was the end of the testing. Where they said that as we wrap up day one of testing. We want to acknowledge that we're still investigating matchmaking. We saw improvements in the US and UK towards the end of the test. But no, it was rough if you couldn't play. Very rough. It was rough. I'm not going to sit here and lie. Stay tuned and we'll update you heading into tomorrow's testing window. Okay, cool. Um, I'm just having a little read and see what people's views are. That's what these tests are for. 
Oh, Undisputed reply to this. For sure, still want everyone to know we appreciate them. It's never fun still waiting to play. Each sitting waiting to play, even when you know that can happen. Yeah, exactly this, right? So, I think Undisputed have got it right there where, yes, it's a beta test. But sitting there waiting for as long as we waited. Guys, I was waiting 20 minutes. And in that 20 minutes, you've got people in the chat going, where's the game? You've got to keep them entertained. It's, it wasn't easy, man. It wasn't easy. It's a bit of a mixed bag of how people are feeling. Some are saying we've got one decent fight in, queued up for the entire time, and they're excited at the potential, which is pretty good. People in here are saying they want the game yesterday, now they're saying that it's lagging. That's for you people who want this game rushed out. It ain't ready yet. I've been trying to tell you this. If my food ain't ready, it ain't ready. You had a bit of food that ain't ready yet, so you can't complain now. You've tasted it. You've tasted the uncooked food. <laughs> So you've got a good idea of why you need to wait. But you know what? Look at Rob Unique. I'm a console guy, but was enjoying the streams everybody was dropping. Do you know what? It's it's a mixed bag. It's a mixed bag. I hope today's good when it comes to matchmaking, and I hope Sunday's even better. But yeah, I can I can see the frustrations. I think it would be good if as well as the in this instance where the online infrastructure isn't working for everybody it doesn't have to be content creators absolutely everybody there should be an offline mode you can play just so you can get a taste of the game you can learn some new techniques you can you don't have to get lunged into an online game against someone really good and it's your first time playing i wouldn't want to do that like i'm not i'm not saying i'm the best i'm okay i'm average at best and I wouldn't want to be lunged in there with someone who's very good and picked up the game and they're just absolutely destroying me. That's that's heartbreaking. <laughs> but that's my thoughts overall, people. I mean, I had a good time. I was one of the lucky few. I can only speak for myself. I can't speak for others. I know others didn't have it as good as me. I was tuning in to people's live streams and I could see some of the frustration on people's faces, man. And the chat was getting a bit yeah but you know it is what it is again i hope to, today tomorrow is a lot better for the content creators and everyone else who gets to play this game don't be too disheartened again it's a beta and yeah that's all i've got to say and before i do go i just want to say thank you for tuning into my stream yesterday if you did we had a great time we had an absolute blast playing this game i absolutely loved it it was fun just chilling with you guys just talking about the boxing game, talking about my experiences. So make sure you guys are tuning into future streams and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care.